Hare Krishna dear devotees dhanyavad pranam to all so today we are starting with a new book the path of perfection which is written by his divine grace ac bhaktivedanta swami shri prabhupad so today we are starting with introduction when we see a book with a title like path of perfection we may react with a bit of common skepticism oh another book claiming to give all the answers one more do it yourself enlightenment scheme and certainly it seems that such skepticism is justified nowadays our natural desire for ultimate meaning happiness enlightenment liberation and salvation has become the most exploited commodity of the 20th century creating what one contemporary theologian termed a disastrous seduction of the spirit this seduction is indeed the most tragic kind of exploitation and the unfortunate consequence of this exploitation is a kind of deadening cynicism that discourages our search for self fulfillment and a means to attain it the contemporary thoughtful reader wary of the many speculative simplistic books cultering the bookstore shelves offering instant formulas for psychological or spiritual salvation will find the path of perfection a welcome relief herein one will find a clear intriguing explanation of the philosophy and practice of mankind's oldest system of spiritual development which is yoga now the word yoga may conjure up as an image of some skinny fakir contorted like a human pretzel or perhaps a room full of corpulent matrons in black leotards struggling to stand on their heads in hope of improving their health losing weight or increasing their sexual powers this is not what we mean by yoga here we are referring to an ancient philosophy and meditational system that has been practiced by millions throughout the ages what has in modern times been reduced to a commercially exploited technique of bodily agility and pseudo meditation was once a comprehensive and easily applied form of self realization the path of perfection consists of a historic series of talks elaborations on a previously published commentary by his divine grace ac bhaktivedanta swami shila prabhupad on india's greatest spiritual classic the bhagavad gita in these absorbing talks shila prabhupad explores deeply the philosophy of yoga as explained in the 6th and the 8th chapters of gita showing clearly how these timeless teachings apply to 20th century mankind shila prabhupad's talks probe questions concerning the nature of consciousness techniques of meditation karma death reincarnation and even spiritual ecstasy the bhagavad gita described by one contemporary psychologist as a remarkable psychotherapeutic session appears to us in the form of an extraordinary dialogue between lord krishna who is the supreme personality of god and his warrior disciple arjun perplexed and confused about his identity and purpose arjun turns towards krishna who reveals the path of perfection to his able student the essence of lord krishna's teaching is that one must become a yogi that is one whose life is centered on the practice of yoga and what is yoga the sanskrit word yoga literally means union and refers to the union in love between the individual consciousness and the supreme consciousness the self and the super self the soul and god yoga is indeed the path of perfection because it aims towards this most exalted human attainment in the bhagavad gita we discover four basic varieties of yoga described karma yoga refers to the process whereby one performs his work for god without selfish desire for personal gain jnana yoga is the process of elevation to spiritual consciousness through the cultivation of philosophical knowledge the ashtanga yoga system of which the modern hatha yoga is a watered down version is a mechanical meditative practice meant to control the mind and senses and focus one's concentration on the supreme these three yoga systems culminate in bhakti yoga the yoga of selfless ecstatic devotional service of god krishna lord krishna himself states in the last verse of chapter 6 all of the yogis he who always abides in me with great faith worshiping me in transcendental loving service is most intimately united with me in yoga and is highest of all in the path of perfection shila prabhupad offers a brilliant summary of methods of bhakti yoga revealing the universal applicability of this simple but all inclusive form of yoga he shows how even those who are entangled in the complexity and chaos of modern materialistic life can begin an uncomplicated practice which purifies the mind and puts one in the touch with the supreme consciousness this 
perhaps was Srila Prabhupada's greatest contribution to our age. Srila Prabhupada was acknowledged master scholar of India's ancient spiritual culture and of its linguistic foundation, the Sanskrit language. But he was not merely a textual scholar or philosopher or theologian engaged in the manufacture of interesting philosophy or theological notions. He was a true spiritual genius who succeeded in bringing to life the essence of India's universal spiritual wisdom in a form which is easy for 20th century men to understand and practice. This was the unique genius which inspired the late Prime Minister of India, Sri Lal Bahadur Shastri, to declare openly that the writings of Srila Prabhupada are a significant contribution to the salvation of mankind. The transforming quality of Srila Prabhupada's writings was also appreciated by the sociologist Elvin H. Powell, who commented on Srila Prabhupada's best-selling edition of Bhagavad Gita, this transcendental mysticism from the East is now taking root in the countercultures of the West and providing for many a way out of the wilderness of disintegrating civilization. If truth is what works, there must be a kind of truth in Bhagavad Gita as it is, since those who follow its teaching display a joyous serenity usually missing in the bleak and strident lives of contemporary pe- people. Important note about Mayavad. Mayavadi Bhashya Shunile Haya Sarvanasha. Anyone who hears Mayavadi philosophy is doomed. Written in Chaitanya Charitamrit Madhya Leela 6.169. Throughout his books, Srila Prabhupada repeatedly speaks out against Mayavadis. The term Mayavadi is often misunderstood to mean a materialistic person who delights in pleasures of this world. But actually, Mayavadi means a follower of Mayavad. Mayavad is another name for Advaitavad or Adi Shankaracharya. According to the Mayavadis, Krishna and devotional service to him, that is Bhakti, are all products of Maya or illusion. They believe that everything is one and that the goal of spiritual life is to become one with God. They are impersonalist. They think that God is formless, nirakar. They do not accept that the highest reality is the personality of Godhead, Shri Krishna. In different forms and names, Mayavad has spread throughout India and beyond by diverting people's attention away from the personality of Godhead and giving them false hope that they can become one with God, Mayavad has created havoc in the spiritual life of the world. Therefore, Vaishnavacharyas, especially Sripad Ramanujacharya, Sripad Mahadavacharya and Bhagwan Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu staunchly oppose Mayavad. Using evidence from Shastra, Scripture and common sense logic, they have systematically refuted Mayavad by exposing the numerous fallacies on which it is based. The correct understanding of the absolute truth is that Krishna or Vishnu is supreme. This is directly established by Lord Krishna in Bhagavad Gita and is thus accepted by all Vaishnava philosophers. Krishna is the supreme personality of Godhead. He is not formless. He is eternally situated in his transcendental form, Satchidananda Vigraha. The topmost understanding of transcendental reality is that God is a person and all other living beings who are jivas are his servants eternally. Therefore, we should not try to become God but simply accept our subordination and surrender to him. Srila Prabhupada in the tradition of great Vaishnava Acharyas always stood opposed to Mayavad. He repeatedly and forcefully exposed the defects and absurdities inherent in it. Reference to Mayavad and Mayavadis are made throughout Srila Prabhupada's books, but for a thorough analysis of this subject, readers should refer to his book, Teachings of Lord Chaitanya. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna.